Now, we do know from an owner of an adjacent building a business here uh, in Lakeview uh, that she was actually woken up by a call from her alarm system after 430 this morning that let her know there was a fire in the building. Now she later realized that she believes that fire started in Parley's bar. Uh, so that we can easily say that firefighters have been here for over an hour working on this fire, uh, but that she knows that her building has some sort of damage uh, from this fire right now, but she's not sure. She hasn't had a chance to go in and actually assess the damage. Uh, you're taking a look at Parley's bar where we believe that that fire started this morning. And as you can see, extensive damage to that area. We see a bunch of ash. Uh, uh, can see a little it's dark inside the building, but looks like a lot of debris in there um, and, and you can even see the ash outside the building, the white building here in Lakeview. Now there's at least four fire trucks in this area, more than a dozen firefighters here working this scene. Uh, we've noticed a few looks to be residents or customers coming to this area just to look around and, and see what's happening right now. But it does appear that New Orleans firefighters are cleaning up. They've been here over an hour. Uh, just cleaning up this scene. It doesn't appear that there's any hot spots still happening. Uh, everything seems to be put out at this time, but still extensive damage that we're seeing here, extensive damage uh, that these business owners are coming back to that they're going to have to uh, figure out what to do from here. Now, I did speak with the owner of Lakeview Burgers and Seafood. She tells me that her business has been here for five years. She loves serving the community, and she's just thankful that no one was hurt in this fire. I'll have more details for you in just a few minutes, so stay with Eyewitness News. Reporting live in Lakeview, Megan Key, Eyewitness News. Megan, thank you very much for that update. We will stay on scene of the fire as investigators look for answers. Stay with us for updates throughout our newscast. And if you're on the go, make sure you have our app for the very latest information.